Hey, Arsenal fans. Happy Saturday. Happy weekend to each and every one of you. Thanks again to Lee and Dan for giving me the opportunity to talk on this fantastic channel. Listen, uh, was it a disappointing performance? 100%, especially after the energy and the tenacity and the aggression and the fire and the speed of which we played against Tottenham in the North London derby. But is every game going to be like that for this team? No, that's the reality. Do we want it to be? Absolutely, yes. But the reality is that we're not going to get this right now from this team. One of the things that Super Kevin Campbell asked me at the beginning of the season is, what do you want from the Arsenal this season? I said, consistency and then build on good performances. I was expecting a better performance today against Brighton. But let's be honest, they're a better team than us. They're better organised. And dare I say, without trying to sound like I'm grilling Arteta at this point, they're better coached. And they were better coached today. Seemed like they had more of a plan A and a plan B. And when our plan A lacked, our plan B really didn't take any effect whatsoever until much later in the game where Lacazette came on and proved to Arteta that perhaps he should have come on a little bit earlier because of the way he held up the ball, brought players in and was able to open up opportunities for that forward line. You could say Gabriel and Ben White helped us from not conceding a goal. Aaron Ramsdale was weak in the first half, he was better in the second half. Tommy Asu maybe had a humbling game and a welcoming to the Premier League, but he and Tierney were so exposed because we had no control of the ball and we were poor off the ball and our midfield couldn't contain any type of possession. Therefore, um, Brighton were able to play freely um, on those wide, in, in those wide areas and they were completely overloaded. Our captain didn't show up today. Again, on the flip side of that, how many chances was he given? How many balls did he receive? Um, when he did, he was poor. But I think that Saka and Emil Smith-Rowe once again put the team on their backs. Can't keep having that happening. They're the ones that show up week in, week out. We need the Udegaards and the Yabamiangs of the world and the Thomas Parties of the world to show up week in, week out. Thomas Party was decent today. Dare I say that word that rhymes with Laka and Saka? Yeah, maybe we missed Xhaka. He's such a polarizing figure and I think he lives in our psyche because of the mistakes that he's made are so glaring and have been fundamental in certain games. But I also think that sometimes in this Arsenal team, we are a little bit snobby in the sense that Maybe he's what we need right now. He's not the long-term answer, but maybe right now he offers a better partnership to party. I love Sambi. I think he's got a bright future. I think he's ready, but maybe in, game, in certain games, he's not going to be as ready as we want him to be. He grew into the game. He had a poor first half, but he was better in the second half. Um, Ramsdale saved us at the end. Mope could have been in there um, to tap it in. And even when he's made that save, he parried it into the centre of... Uh, the box, uh, which actually didn't backfire on us. Uh, but again, he grew into the match and despite having a bit of a dodgy first half, he was definitely more commanding in the second. I think that Obami, um, Arteta should have made his subs a little bit earlier. Uh, maybe Lacazette could have had more of an impact with more time. Maitland-Niles, I think, could have maybe helped get control of the ball a little bit more in midfield. And you could argue that Pepe, once again, we've seen a predictability from him. You want him to come off the bench. You want him to be a super sub. He's a super signing. We spent a lot of money on him. That shouldn't be his fault. But you do expect a little bit more than what we see from him when he is given these opportunities. So despite the fact we were poor, despite the fact that we didn't play well, that we came down off that Tottenham game, going into the international break... Playing a team that's better than us right now, better coached than us right now, we dodged the bullet and grabbed a point. And I think that at the end of the day, it's night. We should go to bed and be grateful that we have a point and we can still keep that momentum going of not losing. And hopefully when we get back, we start to play a little bit better. And Arteta needs to be a bit braver as well at times. So we're not going to kill the team today, but we also are going to hold them to accountability and say that they do need to improve and be more consistent going forward. So, um, yes, we didn't win, but we didn't lose either. That's where we're at right now.